just at the back of the van. That's all. Bolts of the crown of pride to the drunkards of Ephraim, the stories, beauties of the fading flower. This country used to have a, 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 a lot. But when we, what? There was that time we started taking uh, God out of the schools, out of the churches, out of this. See, it's like, this is no longer the church age. During the church age, God winked at this type of thing. Because knowledge hasn't increased. Knowledge has increased since 2008. And Israel is rising up like the grass. Sure. of a revival. Mark, kicked out of a, of a church revival. Thank you. You're teaching what the book says. You got other brothers that are teaching what the book says as well. They get thrown out and handled. Boys in the van. In the van. In the van. In the van. There's stuff in the van to use that. There's everything in the van to use that. Set them up, help out, and stay in the van. There's stuff in here to use the bathroom, I'm not going to tell you again. Rico, officers are out here. We're handling the situation. Boys, help me with your little brother. Then look out the back window. Out the back window. Stop yelling. I know. They know. They know. Stop. trespassers they kick us out right and then that's when we dust their feet off but the thing right. is is like how how in the world are we going to go ahead and tell our brothers and sisters the truth if there's a law like how, do, how does the church isn't the church and the state completely separate so then how does what I proclaim out of this book in that church have anything to do with Montana's law that's what I'm trying to figure out well, Here's the thing. They because I want to obey the Romans 13. You guys carry right, the right. sword for the reason. Right. They don't, they, again, they don't have to agree with your religious belief. They don't have to agree with you. But if you do come into any kind of public assembly in Montana, mm -hmm. it may feel that others feel that it's creating disturbance. So A lot of them will. The, 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 uh, the, the pastors are in big, big trouble. Yep. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a copy of it. It's good for one year. You cannot return to this facility for one year. Okay? Unfortunately, you, you, yeah, unfortunately, you can return your automatic. No, I, I can't. Like, it's trespass. Then once they bring it over, this is why it says in this book, yeah, you go to law against one another. You so know? I'm going to go ahead and give you a copy of it. Okay. Boys, come on now. You. Hey. Hey. So no. No. They're making it incredibly difficult for us to complain the truth. These pastors are in big trouble. If they keep trying to arrest people or, you know, you guys got to do what you got to do. You know, you get a call. Because, like, all their, like, I could, you know, it's even, like, uh, Muslim faith or whatever. It, like, everyone's, like, it's actually prophesied about that, too. They're coming in, like, ah, oh, with swords and stuff, right? But the problem is, is that... We're commanded not to do that. We're not hurt nobody in there. I'm going to rebuke them with my mouth. That's what we're supposed to do. To blow the shofar. Warn the people. But if we can't even do that in our own churches, what the hell happened in this country? You, you just did that and I lost your feet. Like Raise your hand. Yeah. You said what you said. I said you lost your feet. Raise your hand. All we can do is say our peace, wash your feet, and 